بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم peace and blessings be upon you in the fifth chapter of the, of the Quran we have a very interesting story and the story is about two brothers traditionally named Cain and Abel and the story says that both of them made an offering Karrabin Qurbanin they both made an offering and the story says that the offering was accepted from one and not accepted from the other again this is Cain and Abel now the one from whom the offering was not accepted meaning Cain in response in his rage so to speak he promises to kill his brother to kill Abel and Abel's response is to not, not make any reaction at all out of a sense of fear or awe of God and the Quran goes on to say that in fact Cain carried out his promise he killed his brother he kills Abel and that a, after some time a crow comes along scratching on the ground teaching Cain how to bury his brother the brother that he had just murdered now the Quran says that he was among those who had regrets Cain regretted his actions now there are many lessons from this particular story that are worth exploring but the one that we're going to focus upon in this particular recording and inshallah in future recordings we'll look at other aspects is that the scholars have pointed out something very important is that yes it says that Cain regretted he was among those who re he regretted his actions but it doesn't say he repented for his actions. Those are two different things. Again, regret and repentance are two different things. Regret is something which is felt on the inside. And admittedly, this is something that all humans go through at one point or another, unless, of course, a person has serious spiritual diseases such as narcissism. So regret is something which is felt on the inside while repentance is something is something that expresses regret both internally and externally certainly regret can be just a momentary feeling a, a person has regret something and then five seconds later they they're over it while repentance really is a series of internal moves and external moves meant to rectify or make up for that wrong action. Now, the Quran in another place regarding another story, the story of Adam and Eve, it says that they did this action. In this case, they disobey Allah, they disobey God and ate of the forbidden tree, forbidden fruit. And it says that they regretted their action or excuse me that they uh, repented for the action but not only that so not only that they regretted or that they repented but Allah taught God taught them how to repent how to repent and in the seventh chapter of the Quran it actually contains those words and those words if you allow me to say them in English first it says our Lord we have wronged ourselves if you do not get grant us forgiveness if you do not grant us mercy we shall be among those who are experiencing tremendous loss Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam tangfirnana wa turhamna these are the words and pay attention to the first to the opening expression in those words 
رَبَّنَا ثَلَمْنَا أَنفُسَنَا Our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. So this vocalizes the regret. This puts it out there. This vocalizes the regret in the presence of God and arguably in the presence of our own selves. Once it's put out there, then the foundation is made in order to make amends. This is the core point. This is the core point. Now, in the beginning of the story of Cain and Abel, again, one makes a, a two. The both of them they make a, a uh, an offering, and it's only accepted from one and not the other. Now, very interestingly, the text says that Abel gives an observation. He says, "Inna Allahu min al muttaqin." That God only accepts from the people of taqwa. This is a very important words from the people of taqwa, min al muttaqin. Now, humans, the best of us, the worst of us, or the average of us, the the, one, the sort of in between. We certainly can make mistakes. And this is something that the Quran acknowledges. This is something that we are even taught uh, in another way, in, in the sense of invoking Allah, invoking God, that we acknowledge our, our, our frailties. رَبَّنَا لَا Excuse me. رَبَّنَا لَا تُوَخِذْنَا إِنْ نَسِينَ أَخْطَعْنَا our Lord, do not condemn us if we forget or fall into making mistakes. Rabbana la tuachithna in nasina awhtana. And this is these words are at the end of Surah Al Baqarah, the second chapter. So here comes another point. Yes, human beings are, are frail, we can make mistakes, we can make errors, we can forget. But if we have sincerity and we have awareness, in other words, taqwa, and take practical steps, rather than being prideful, rather than being arrogant, rather than being selfish, rather than being in a state of self-delusion, then it can go somewhere. Otherwise, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. So I hope that this video provides some food for thought. May God give you blessings and guidance and mercy. In fact, may He give this to all of us. Thank you for viewing. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.